Let's say you get a divorce. Would you consider that a defeat? Yes, you should be sad. I'm divorced, so there's a ding on my record. I failed. And he failed too. I'm not upset about it, though, since I married the man of my dreams. I don't know why you wouldn't yet you picked poorly, and now you've spent each other's time intriguing. Would you say it's a failure if you were able to give birth to children and they have a bright future? No, it's still a failure. Most parents don't regret having children, but it's a failure. You chose poorly and reproduced now. These children don't have a father in the home, but we're so used to it that we think it's okay, but the outcomes are still negative. I grew up in a single mother home. I had a lot of risk factors to solve me in the dating market, and that's something that doesn't get talked about. It's all about this eat, pray, love. We don't talk about fatherlessness. It's only starting to surface with recent public tragedies. Week after week, you hear about another horrific shooting. A lot of the negative outcomes for society can be traced back to dads not being present in their kids' lives, and women have free reign to punish men because it's backed by the state. You can leave a marriage, drain a man's finances, and put him on child support for 18 plus years, and nothing happens to you. The system is set up so that it's so hard for a man to get what you would consider a fair outcome. Most of them end up completely wrecked and destroyed, and society discards them afterward. Your only purpose left through society's eyes is essentially a wallet where you pay the state to send money to the kids. It's a racket man for profit. We don't care about keeping families intact. What happens if your son ends up in jail? They get free labor essentially from prisons. Half the stuff you make is prison labor pennies on the dollar. Literally then there are private prisons in America. We make money off imprisoning people here. That's insane. Next your kid won't have a strong financial backing, so he'll have to depend on the state to take out a loan to go to SC. Marriage sanctimony has killed manhood and manliness. Getting married in the West today has almost no benefits except for the children who need to be raised in that unit. As a man, you are essentially incentivized by women and the court system to not engage and not have the state involved in your affairs. Yet they still try cohabitation, which is a stupid system. This isn't only a problem for guys. Women are being indoctrinated through materialism, too. They're being pushed by society to become strong, independent queens. There's an ideology that they don't need men in the household, and it's being fomented in our colleges, reinforced by the government and created generationally by the proliferation of single-parent households. The lens through which you view the world is essentially corrupted from your childhood experiences of your mother getting thrown off the carousel, so it's reinforced in a ton of women today. We also know what happens to young men who are raised in a feminized household. They end up addicted to drugs, in prison, and whatever else you can think of. People have no self-confidence, their self-esteem is low, they feel aimless, they don't know what they want out of life, and they're confused. Unfortunately, social media digs its claws into these lost, confused kids with low self-esteem and throws them into an echo chamber where others can brainwash them. Now add in social media, no parental guidance because the parents are always working, etc., and you can almost with a pen write out somebody's life path based on their household. It's a nuts man and all of this can be prevented man, but the system likes the power it gains when men and women can't come together and form strong bonds, communities, and families. It's all about the power of the dollar wealth being. Left-right voting in today's society, gender is everything. Hence, I despise all guys. Men ain't shiz, women say, and then a man will say all women are streetwalkers who don't deserve anything f women f men. And it's like all right those at the top are just rubbing their fingers together with that little smile you know happy they're making all this money off your back. Meanwhile, you're asleep walking through life and your pockets are getting finessed. 